All right, guys. So in the previous uh, recording session, you know, probably you have seen that I have set up Azure AD pass-through authentication, and I did configure Azure AD Connect server and the pass-through connector on the same server. Now this is time to give a demo on how the authentication is working and also verify that the authentication is coming on prem and user is getting authenticated uh, against our Active Directory domain controller as opposed to Azure AD. So what you see over here is I have these five users which have come from on-prem and you know in order to enable login you'll have to make sure that your uh, UPN user principal name should match to your uh, uh, Azure AD custom domain name. So in my case is cloudeasy.com and you see that for this user I have this name matching for but for other users I don't have that name matching. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to log on to your domain controller and uh, change the UPN for associated users. So if I come to my Active Track users and computers and from over here if I click on user 3 I go to accounts and I change the UPN uh, from our Azure.local, which is the current Azure AD Forest, uh, to you know the UPN that I have uh, selected for my Azure AD custom domain name. And in previous demo, I, I, I did so did show it how to have additional UPN listed for the users. Uh, so please do refer that video uh, for more details. So now I have set up this user three uh, configuration for uh, to use uh, Wow Azure, or rather you know cloudeasy.com. That is my custom domain name. Uh, so the, the when the next time sync service runs, which is in around 30 minutes, it should push out uh, those changes to Azure AD. By this point of time, I already have a user, which is Wow Azure user two, and that user has the same domain name. Uh, same UPN as my Azure AD a custom domain and we can see over here and we can also see that in the portal that you know I have this user which has this same uh, wow Azure to cloudeasy.com so now what I'm gonna do is I will open an incognito window and try to authenticate using this user and then uh, after you know authentication is successful we will come back onto domain controller and search the security audit log and to see that the user has successfully logged on uh, and authenticated against the uh, active directory domain control which is sitting on prem so i go to portal.azure.com and I try to log in, so my user ID is wow, Azure user 2 at the red cloud easy.com and then I put in password. So essentially what's happening is currently like you know I have set up Azure AD pass-through so you see that my authentication has zipped through and I got authenticated. Remember when we set up the Azure AD Connect, we didn't synchronize any password, but still I got authenticated. So where did I get authenticated against? So if I go back to my domain controller and I come over to my security log, uh, which you can see over here. So if let's say if I refresh it, and you will see that you know I have uh, an authentication which has taken place. Uh, for this user so what I'll do is I will say find and I specify my user ID which is my well, actual user 2 and I say find next so what you see over here is it's around time 106 time you know this time around uh, so I'll say cancel it and if you click if I click on it you will see that uh, well, Azure 2 Azure you know which is the domain is has got has been a Kerberos ticket have was requested so obviously which requested the Kerberos ticket this ticket was requested on behalf of the user by the Azure uh, AD connect server which has passed through authentication connector running so basically what has happened is the user authentication uh, from Azure AD has come back to on-prem to pass through connector running on Azure AD connect server and from Azure AD connect server it that connected to our domain controller, local domain controller over here, 
got authenticated and uh, like you know received a Kerberos ticket which ensured that the user of name and password was correct and that you know the our uh, uh, Azure AD connector or, or you know the pass-through connector has communicated back to Azure AD that this user has a valid username and password and then Azure AD has uh, uh, basically logged me on to the portal so you you saw thus that you know my authentication has come back to on-prem onto domain controller so this is to prove the point that our authentication is not happening in the cloud against Azure AD but it's happening on-prem onto domain controller so this is uh, single sign-on and this event validates uh, our understanding this event validates uh, that this is a true single sign-on and it's the authentication is happening against the domain controller i hope that you found this uh, video blog useful and you know i hope to continue to publish more blogs uh, for your uh, uh, benefits please do like it subscribe it share it uh, so the more and more people can get benefit out of it. Thank you